the more upset of all time. The Browns 1950 opening day game. 1950, Browns versus Eagles. Ironic as it may seem, Pro Football's World Series takes place the first week of the 1950 season as the Cleveland Browns, champions of the All-American Conference, take on the defending kingpins of the NFL, the Philadelphia Eagles. No one gave the Browns a chance to win. Cleveland joined the NFL after the All-American Football Conference dissolved in 1949. But at the time, the Browns were considered more of a rogue outfit than a legitimate organization. The owners, the executives of the NFL looked down on the All-American Conference. They thought the players weren't as good, but the coaches weren't as good. They thought it was a minor league product. They laughed at Paul Brown. They called him a high school coach. The NFL viewed the former AAFC team as nothing more than a carnival act with its running gun offense and unusual off the field activities. The players during their free time engage in some sports activity, keeps them in shape, they say. Burt Bell, who personally made up the league schedule, scheduled the first game was going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles were two-time defending champions and viewed as the real class act in, in pro football. We're going to open the season against the Cleveland Browns in Philadelphia, and that was no accident. I mean, Burt Bell wanted to put these guys in their place right away. Here's the kind of action that will thrill you fans. Brown was telling the players what they already knew. This league has no respect for you. This game is a setup. They're expecting you to go in there and get crushed. We were so ready. We were foaming at the mouth almost. We were ready to play that game. They had dominated the All-American Football Conference. They had won all four league championships. The autumn cavalcade of sport is both colorful and exciting. What was supposed to be a battle of league champions turned into a one-sided slaughter and our number four upset. The Browns just dominated that. By halftime, that game was pretty much over. And they were too smart for them, they were too quick for them. They weren't prepared to deal with the Browns passing attack. They had no idea how good players like Otto Graham and Marion Motley, how good these guys were. After the game, uh, Burt Bell came in and he said it was the uh, best football team, the most intense football team he had ever seen. And they drew 71,000 people. It was the biggest regular season attendance ever for the Philadelphia Eagles and remains so to this day. The Browns went on to win the 1950 NFL Championship, suggesting that our number four upset was no fluke. And the Browns had entered another championship, this one a cherished conquest in the National Football League. And the Browns had proved they were talented enough and well coached enough that they would not just be able to compete but be able to thrive in the NFL. <laughs>